Well, the Relationship Safety Alliance hosted the annual candlelight vigil to honor those affected by domestic violence in the Brainerd Lakes area. Members of the community and law enforcement gathered at Lyman P. White Park to remember those who lost their lives. Reporter Sammy Holliday has more. Betty, Joe, Bauman, Messiah O'Neill, Ricardo, Samuel, Pena, Martinez. These were just a few of the people who were honored at the annual candlelight vigil last night in Brainerd. The vigil shines a light on the victims who lost their lives due to domestic violence in the last year. The night holds importance because it raises awareness of a problem that continues to harm our communities. We're all coming and gathering together for a common cause. We are not, you know, it's not a fundraiser. We're not asking people to do anything. We're just wanting to honor those lives lost and discuss what we can do so that way it doesn't continue happening in our state and in our community. Just one life lost due to domestic violence is too much, but the number of lives lost in Minnesota in 2023 was the highest since the data had begun to be tracked. Last year, there were 40 known victims of intimate partner homicide right here in Minnesota. That is the highest year that since um, Violence Free Minnesota has been collecting this data for over 30 years. Seeing the amount of people gathered to show their support was an encouraging sign for the Relationship Safety Alliance who organizes the vigil each year, as it shows that people in the community are committed to try and work out how we can find solutions to the problem. It's extremely encouraging, very proud of our community. We had so many different areas represented this evening from different educational groups. We had the local law enforcement representatives, um, community services, all of our staff, um, other victim service programs were here. Uh, family members and friends of the victims that were honored tonight. So it does take all of us together to combat this issue. The most vulnerable time for someone in an abusive relationship is when they think about leaving. The RSA operates the Luis Saliski Shelter, which serves as a safe space for those individuals experiencing domestic violence in and around Crow Wing County. If they don't have some place to go, then what, what's going to happen? They're going to stay. So at least, you know, we are here. We're available 24-7. We will always help no matter what. Reporting in Brainerd, Sammy Holiday, Lakeland News. Help is available for those dealing with issues stemming from domestic violence. The National Domestic Violence Hotline offers free confidential support 24-7. That number is on the screen. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.